Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about sex extractions. So here we have left, right, mid, text plate, filter, and X lookup. We are going to learn about six extractions, and we are going to start with our first extraction that is left. So what left does? Left does the extraction from the left side. So if we are talking about left, so let's begin with left. So here is text, here is number of character. So if you are talking about text, text means what do you want to extract? So I want to extract this and number of character means how many number of character do you want to extract from the left side so if I'm talking about here let's say I want to extract my first name and here you can see I have one two three four five five characters so if I'm going to press enter uh, write five in it and press enter in it and you, then you can see I can easily able to extract the first name by using left but if I'm going to drag and drop the left to down you will see the answer is not coming correct why because if we are going to extract the five character here it will provide the right answer here but if you are talking about this instance this instance is not providing the correct answer because here we have only two character on the left side so to deal with this kind of extraction we generally use the find function or search function find and search both are similar but find is case sensitive now if i'm talking about find function what find does find finds the exact position of a specific character so let's say if i'm talking about this space now you, you can see space is lying on the sixth position one two three four five six so that six will be tell will be told by the find function now what i'm going to do i'm going to use find function and you can see here we have one two three arguments now if i'm going to start with find text means what do you want to find i want to find the position of space so i'm entering space in it within text within text here now comma start number is number one if you uh, go, see uh, if, if you are seeing this kind of thing i mean if you are seeing any argument that is in a square bracket it means that is optional by default it is it, it will take one so i'm entering deliberately one now press enter and you can see it is telling us what is the position of space here now just drag and drop and you can see here we have third position here we have sixth position so now we can easily extract the first name by using left function and find now what i'm going to do i'm going to use left function left now here is your text now comma number of character means how many number of character do you want to break so i want to break one two three four five and how i'm calculating the five just six minus one now close the parentheses and enter now you can see just drag and drop and i'm able to do this in few seconds now you can see i have done the extraction from the left function now if i'm talking about our second topic that is right function now if i'm going to talk about right right do the same thing but it does the extraction from the right side now if i'm going to talk about right function so it has also same arguments as, as same as left now here we have text and number of character if i'm talking about last name so here we have one two three four character from the right side so i can simply uh, select my text text with what do you want to break i want to break my name now if i'm talking about number of character four now here we have just drag and drop and you will see here we are getting correct answer we are getting correct answer but here we are not getting correct answer because here we don't want four character he wants six character from the right side to deal with these kind of extraction from the right side we need to take help of two functions first is find and find does the extraction correctly as i have told you find just find out the position of space so i'm going to enter the space position within text here and starting position is one now just drag and drop and you will see 
find function is telling us what is the position of space in this name now if i'm talking about length function length function tell us the length of a specific cell so here we have 10 character in this cell so that will tell us by the length now if i'm going to talk about length length and here is your text now enter and you can see here is 10 character and just drag and drop now we can do the extraction from the right side by using these two function now if i'm going to talk about right text is this one comma and number of character means four character and how i'm calculating this just 10 minus 6 10 minus 6 and here it is now you can see i am able to do the extraction from the right side now if i'm going to talk about our third topic that is mid so what mid does mid does the extraction from the middle if i'm going to just talk about mid here mid it has three argument while left and right has two arguments now text what do you want to break here we have some gst numbers and we are going to extract some pen numbers from the gst number so here we have text comma start number would be let's say if i'm to go, going to talk about the pen number so pen number is starting from the third character one two and three so i'm going to start from the third number start number means starting position from where do you want to start i want to start from the number three and here we have number of character how many number of character do you want to break i know in pen number we have 10 characters so i can simply enter 10 in it 10 and just close the parentheses and enter and you can see i am able to extract the pen number from this now just drag and drop and the answer is correct now here we have a new function that is in office 365 just Microsoft has uh, launched this function a couple of days ago. Now, what text split does? Text split basically do the just do the sp split of text. So, what what it is doing? It is just splitting the text. So, uh, what I'm going to do? I'm going to use text split. So, let's say I'm talking about first name and last name. So, I'm going to break this. So, here is text. And how do you want to break this text? I just want to break the text by using space. So I'm entering space in double quotes. Now just close the parentheses and enter. And you can see we are easily able to do the extraction from the text bits. Also just drag and drop. You can see here we have done the extraction of using text spread. Now we are going to talk about our fifth function that is called filter function. Now, now let's talk about like uh, our fifth extraction that is filter so here we are going to talk about three examples of it now what, what filter does filter do the uh, filtration as same as your data tab has you can see here filter and filter function does the same as same extraction now i'm going to use filter function now array means total data so i'm going to talk about this data i'm going to filter out this data and just lock it a four key comma include uh, on which column on which column base you are going to filter out your, your data so i'm going to let's say i'm talking about region i want to filter out north region data so i'm going to select my region column now press f4 key and equal sign north so whenever this region will be equal to north it is going to filter out our total data so now just close the parentheses and press enter and you can see the results date node wickle jan pencil and region is all equal to node now let's talk about second example that is what if if i, I want a uh, wickle jan or north so means i want to filter out that data which has either north or wickle jan so if you are talking about uh, let's say i'm going to filter out this data based on filter now I'm going to filter out all wickle gen transaction let's uh, this one also and I'm, I'm taking a uh, north cases so anytime you have north or wickle gen you need to filter out that data how I'm going to do that let's talk about filter function in detail so I'm going to copy this here and paste it here now just need to put equal sign and you will see 
it is giving us false true false 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 true false true so what it is doing it is just basically uh, telling us whether c2 is equal to not or not so it is not equal to not it is equal to not so that's why it is giving true it is not equal to not that is why it is giving false now if i'm going to talk uh, i'm going to do the same activity with vehicle gen so just write it and i'm cheating here i'm just changing my column to c to d and it's not to vehicle gen and you will see again it is doing the same thing then this is not equal to vehicle gen that that's why it is giving false this is equal to vehicle gen that's why it is giving true uh, this is not equal to vehicle gen false 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 so what, what false means zero in excel and true means one in excel so if i'm going to add these two zero plus zero it will give us true zero and true plus true is equal to give us two so whenever you have number so it will tell us it will filter out that data so what i'm going to do i'm going to just write this and add this so here i'm going to put that thing in parentheses now i'm cheating here i'm just copying this and adding here and pasting the same thing but i'm just changing little bit thing c to d and here i'm changing node to vehicle j now you will see now my data has filtered out either node or vehicle gen and you can see the results now what if if i want both the arguments simultaneously it means if my data has node and vehicle gen then i will filter out that data otherwise i will leave that data so what i need to do i instead of this adding i need to do the multiplication so now true multiply by true that mean one and for true multiply by false that means zero so let's filter out that data and i'm going to just change the symbol plus to multiply and you will see the results north and vehicle gen so here we have and and in the previous example we were covering or now let's talk about our sixth uh, extraction that is x lookup and x lookup has more advantage than v lookup it it does the extraction from the left to right right to left top to bottom bottom to top even it it can find the lookup value from the bottom to top so what i'm going to do i'm going to do the extraction from using x lookup x lookup here is lookup value comma lookup array is here now lock it now comma and written array is this one i'm not i'm i don't need to lock this why because I, if i'm going to drag and drop this value to here so what it will do it will just change this column so i don't i don't need to fix it i need to press f4 key mistakenly i have deleted this now one more thing i need to do in this i need to lock this k column now enter now you will see i am doing x lookup even in multiple columns now let's dra drag and drop even if you are comfortable with extraction on left side the the answer is not uh, difficult even on the same as previous one now what i'm going to do i'm going to use x lookup now lookup value would be this one comma and lookup array is this one lock comma and result array is this one now press enter now we can drag and drop and you will see the answer we have just drag and uh, we have just extracted mostly data by using absolute and relative reference in x lookup so it is more versatile than your v lookup so this is the six extractions in excel so now keep enjoying and keep learning